Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make the Clover Club. But first... All right, so let's get into some history. Now, the Clover Club cocktail predates Prohibition, and it is named after the Philadelphia Men's Club, the Clover Club. Now, the club itself dates from 1896 and was a men's only saloon that had many lawyers and writers as members, including William Butler Yeats. Now, one of the earliest recipes for the Clover's Club can be found in The Ideal Bartender by Thomas Bullock from 1917. Robert Hess claims that it has a long history dating back to at least 1910 and was enjoyed by the captains of industry who were members of this famous club. Now this drink was also one of the first served after Prohibition was repealed. So let's get into making a Clover Club. Now the first thing of course I need is my shaking glass. I also need five whole raspberries. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is I'm using fresh fruit rather than making my very own syrup. I do need two ounces or 60 mils of a gin. I'm using Georgian Babe gin here. It's a local uh, gin. Could that pour take any longer? I also need half an ounce of a simple syrup. Half an ounce works out to 15 mils. And this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup. The other thing that I need is 75 ounces, or 0.75, three quarters of an ounce. Me and my math. Three quarters of an ounce, or 25 and a half mils of lemon juice. And lemon juice. So I need three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Now I'm gonna give this a little bit of a malt muddle first, just because I wanna break this up and start the juices soaking in nicely and neatly, okay? But we need one more ingredient. The next ingredient that we need is one egg white. Like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do what's called a reverse shake. So what we're going to do is we're going to shake this with ice first, then we'll strain, put it back into the glass, and, and shake it without ice. And I'm going to use, yeah, four good sized ice cubes with this. And we'll shake it for a good 10 seconds hard. So what we'll do is we'll strain this directly back into our glass here. And the color looks really nice already. All right, get rid of that ice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this another shake for another 10 seconds because we wanna get that little bit of foam on half. Very, very nice, gorgeous looking color. So we're going to serve this in a coupe glass. But, because we have little raspberry chunks in it, I'm going to double strain this because this is a gentleman's club. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And this will give us a chance to get a little bit of the foam to separate and look absolutely gorgeous. But we need to garnish this. And we're going to garnish this with three whole raspberries. And we're gonna put them on so they kind of line up nice and neat, like so. And we'll put those directly right there so they're just inside this glass. 
Look at this gorgeous cocktail, absolutely beautiful. And they said that men don't like a pink drink. And it smells absolutely wonderful. Look at that beautiful foam. All I can smell is raspberries. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow. That is awesome. It's an A-list drink. I can see why you would have this served at a high-end club or saloon. But you know what? This is perfect to treat yourself. The raspberry and the gin combine wonderfully. You get these great raspberry floral notes. The gin works so well with it. It is nicely balanced. It's not overly sweet. The lemon juice doesn't overpower anything. It blends absolutely gorgeous. Serve this to me any day. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down below in the description. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you'll be notified. But if you don't like raspberries and you don't like a gorgeous looking cocktail, hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time. Now, one of these earliest recipes for the Clover Club can be found in The Ideal Bartender by Thomas Bullock from 1979. Oh, shit. 1917. Not 1979. Now, Robert Hess claims it's been a long history. Stop. And Robert Hess claims that it has been a long history dating... Uh, I can't. I can't. So let's get into making the, co the, the mm, Clover Club. And they said that men don't like a pink drink. Let's see how it smells. All I smell is strawberries, combined with the botanical notes of the drink to be drink. 